Hi folks, uh, we're in uh, Liverpool University today and that's our brother evangelist David talking to a student at Liverpool University and uh, David was telling me a story which was really encouraging that uh, 15 years ago he'd been doing evangelism well recently only a few weeks ago he was at Manchester University and a guy came up to him and just said amazingly uh, he was converted 15 years ago you alright sir? Yeah, just you alright? Yeah, we're just film. I'm just filming. Yep. Uh, have you got any questions about Christianity? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm open-minded. I don't know if you've heard of In Another Place. Um, no, no. They did St. George's Hall. They did about um, Narnia being about Christianity and stuff All like right, that. Yeah. So I'm involved with different things like that. So I am up to yeah. code and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, do, do, do you have any... Uh, do, do you believe that Jesus died for your sin? I believe something happened. I mean, I am open-minded, but I can't yeah. really. I don't have enough evidence and stuff like that. But I am a believer. So if you know what I mean. You, you kind of. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You, you're not there yet, but yeah, you're, exactly. you're, you're kind of open. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Have you Have you read anything about Christianity and the dyslexic. Gospels? I get people to read it for me. Well, you're dyslexic. Yeah. I'm, I'm dyslexic as well. Oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just. Uh, this goes on, I, sometimes I talk to students and we yeah, debate sure. and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, I work for Fair Share, an organisation where we actually go around for seeing scene organisations and also homeless shelters where we feed the homeless, just whatever we've got we'll give to them oh, and stuff. fantastic, fantastic. It is. <laughs> um, what do you think about this verse, John 3.16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What, what do you think of that verse? John 3.16. But God so loved the world? So that means... He said love the world, but I'm guessing... It, I'm guessing the way I see it is, like, God gave us an earth. He said look after it and stuff. I mean, and some people have messed it up. So I think that's where Noah's Ark comes in, because I think yeah. it's like a baptizing thing, because, yeah, it's like cleansing the earth. So he's saying love the earth and cherish it, I would say. Okay, well, let's just look at it. It says, For God so loved the world right. that he gave his only begotten Son. Yeah. So he gave his Son Jesus. Yeah. That whoever believes on him shall not perish but everlasting life. So the giving is when Jesus came and he, he said, I give my life a ransom for, for many. Yeah. So he, when he was dying on that cross, he, he felt he was giving his life for you. Yeah. For me. So, like, can I ask a question, like, the Ten sure. Commandments, have you ever lied? Yeah. Have you ever stolen? Yeah, in the past. Well, when Jesus says, I give my life a ransom for many, instead of you being punished, yeah. he was taking your punishment for your sin. See, and that's what I respect about the whole Bible thing and all that. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I'll be honest, some of it, I think, has been, like, twisted in some ways. It, like, people use it as a controlling mechanism. Yeah. In yeah. the whole sense that Jesus said love everyone, but yet we've got people who say hate the gays, hate people and all that. And I don't think Jesus' message was about hate and bigotry. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. I don't think it was about hate. And I agree with you that the that religion could be controlling. Yes. But look at the founder, Jesus. Yeah. You know, he washed the disciples' feet. Yes. And he, as he washed those, his disciples' feet, he said, just as I've done that to you, so you do to others. So leadership is about humble service. Definitely. Not, do, not dominating and controlling. But people find it the other way around, don't But they? they twist it, yeah, because in all systems, not just religion, but even in secularism, people, when they get power, want to dominate. Definitely. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So it's not just it's religion. It's finding the right balance. It, 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 yeah, yeah. And following the right leader. And, and then on the other issue about gay and, and stuff like that, can you have love without truth? I'm not sure about that. It's <laughs> a good question, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I was just like, well, I'll let, take a it, it is a, it, yeah. What I mean is, let's say the child, yeah. a five-year-old, is going near the fire, yeah. uh, a coal fire. Yeah. You love them, yeah. and because you love them, you tell them the truth. Right. If you go near the fire, you'll get burned. Yeah. And I would put it to you that secularism, and, and in its moralities that it's, it has today, believes in love, but without truth. Yeah. Whereas Christianity is saying, 
love is with truth so we're saying the bible is the truth and if you follow it that is real love yeah. and unfortunately it clashes with secularism secularism yeah. i don't agree with this when people like uh, the baptist church in america where they stand in front of gay people and saying horrible things yeah i don't i don't agree with persecuting people or dominating people but i do believe that there has to be right and wrong and truth and i believe the bible is that and unfortunately it does clash with secularism and political correctness yeah you know and and so the question is which comes first secularism or the bible sure you know and and i and and i'm going down the bible road and unfortunately that's not going to be a, a popular thing today did you know that a judge in bristol recently said that quoting the King James is, is not relevant for today, it's abusive. Really? Yeah. That was a high court judge, uh, not a high, sorry, a, a judge in Bristol uh, recently. I'm not to be rude, but I'm going to have to go now. Okay, bro. It was God great bless you. talking to you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. Take care now. So there we are. We talked to a student from uh, Liverpool University, and uh, that was lovely of him to talk to me. And uh, yeah, so God bless you, have a lovely day, and take care. That was a great conversation. Take care.